Now thank you so much guys for watching this video and please welcome back once again to my channel. We are here yet again with another political episode but please support me by subscribing just in case you are here for the first time and also don't forget to press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you immediately I post a video here. Otherwise I really want to appreciate my subscribers so much simply because without the support this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted. So recently on Sunday, Raila Odinga attended a meeting that was uh, convened by President William Ruto in State House without even informing or briefing other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. And that is why we saw Martha Karua, uh, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Nsioka, Eugene Wamanwa and the Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna attending a certain church in Ruiru, Kiambu County, AIPCA church without even informing the bishop of that church that they were going to attend uh, the service without even the presence of Raila Amolo Odinga. President William Ruto on his side, he briefed uh, his deputy president, Regiji himself, and according to Dennis Itumbi, when you go, when you go to Dennis Itumbi's Facebook page, he posted that Regadi Gashagwa was part and parcel in that meeting. He also participated during the dialogue between uh, William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga. So President William Ruto, together with Regadi Gashagwa, agreed to consider Raila Odinga's demands using the bipartisan approach, whereby we are going to expect William Ruto and Raila Odinga collaborating on solving the matters or the demands that Raila Odinga has been raising so that at least Raila Odinga cannot go to the street to call for maandamano and unnecessary mass actions across the country. So Raila Odinga has now started to face rejection and he has now started to face uh, the resistance uh, between himself and other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. And you can clearly tell this when Raila Odinga was issuing that press briefing on Sunday well, he was calling off the mass action across the country after agreeing with during the dialogue between him and William Ruto. You can clearly tell the facial expression of Honorable Stephen Kanonzo Musioka and also Martha Karua and other leaders. You can clearly tell that they were not very much happy with the decision that Ray Lodinga made meeting with William Ruto without even informing them. I think Ray Lodinga, after that meeting is when now he called them that we are going to have this press briefing and that is why you saw when Ray Lodinga was giving his speech during that press briefing he had not even it, it's like he did not know what he was going to talk about it's like he was just uh, given a certain uh, something or whatever so that he can read during that press briefing you could clearly tell when he started his speech there was no words that he could tell. There was no words that uh, he did not even, do not, it, it's like he didn't know what he was going to talk about. So the reason as to why this Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders have now started to resist Ray Lodinga, first of all, it's because of Ray Lodinga failing to, uh, to brief them or to inform them about this meeting. They were on their side, uh, preparing themselves for the mass action to be conducted on Monday, while Ray Lodinga on the other side is secretly having a dialogue with William Ruto in State House. And that is why when they, when these Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders uh, uh, arrived in that church, AIPCA church, the bishop in that church was very much shocked. He had to call them first of all. He had to uh, to halt the, 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 the service in the middle and he had to call this Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders, including Martha Karua, Kanos Musioka and others, into a room for a meeting, into a closed door meeting. And in my considered opinion, first of all, I think the bishop wanted to tell them that they should not talk anything to do with politics. But they were even denied a chance or an opportunity to speak during uh, the church service. So I think they were very much angry, they were very much bitter with Ray Lodinga's decision to, uh, to go and meet William Ruto secretly without even 
informing them. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I think they were very much bitter with Relo Dinga making the decisions during that meeting without even consulting this Azimio Longmoja Alliance leaders. Rigati Gashakwa and William Ruto had to agree. They had to come up with a different propo uh, proposal that they can agree together with what Relo Dinga is demanding. Relo Dinga on the other side, because he was alone, he had to make personal decisions on behalf of other Azimio Longmoja Alliance leaders. Of course, they were not happy about that at all. And thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, they are accusing Relo Dinga of his selfishness. You know, Relo Dinga went there in that meeting. We all know how Relo Dinga operates. Here he went there to talk about his personal interest without considering the interest of Azimio Lomoja Alliance, uh, you know, coalition. That is how Relo Dinga did in the previous NASA coalition, whereby he entered into an handshake with Uhuru Kenyatta without even informing other NASA principals. And that is why the NASA principals, including Kalonzo Musioka, the same same, uh, Musale Mudawadi and Moses Watangulo, were shocked after hearing the handshake because they did not know what Relo Dinga went to discuss there. So that is how William Relo Dinga has been operating. He goes there with his personal interest. What Relo Dinga requires is only a position. When Relo Dinga will secure the position for himself, I don't know and I don't think if he will consider other Azimio Longmoja Alliance leaders. Like for example, let's say that William Ruto and Relo Dinga have agreed to work together, which they are calling it bipartisan approach. And Relo Dinga on his side secures a position in government just to make him busy because politics is all about interest. What will Kenya Kwanzaa or what will William Ruto or what will Relo Dinga on his capacity deliver or give it to other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders? So you can clearly tell that Relo Dinga will secure his interest, but he will lock out other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. So that is what they are accusing Relo Dinga of his personal interest that he put on the table during that meeting making his personal decisions for his personal gains, not other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. And fourthly and finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of Relo Dinga's failure to invite these leaders in that meeting. Just like I had said it earlier, that William Ruto informed, briefed very well, Rigadi Kashagwa and other Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance leaders who also participated during that meeting. Relo Dinga on the other side, he was alone, without any Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. Relo Dinga should have invited this Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders, at least one or two. He should even have invited his deputy president to be, Honorable Martha Karua. In fact, Martha Karua is a, is a strict negotiator. She would have negotiated very well on behalf of Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. I think Relo Dinga made a mistake. He should have just informed William Ruto that because we are as a team in Azimio Lomoja Alliance, let me allow, allow me to invite Martha Karwa for all this dialogue, for all these discussions, so that we can agree as a team, as Azimio Lomoja Alliance. You know, Relo Dinga can make a mistake there, but at least when they are two or more as Azimio Lomoja Alliance, they can make a similar decision or different it can raise different opinion but later on come up with one single agreement together so that is how the bitter fallout in azimio lomoja alliance has started to protrude reloadinga is now facing rejection he has now started to face the resistance with other azimio lomoja alliance leaders what do you say what do you think about this issue that was my opinion let me hear thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.